Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, welcome. I'm Jordan with Jordan Lee Plus 3 and I'm so excited because I am here to talk to y'all about one of my most asked questions on my Instagram channel. Like I get this question at least once or twice a week and I've done a couple Instagram stories but I always have just more questions. So I thought what better way to explain it all than to do a YouTube video. And that is about our Ninja Coffee Bar. So if you're not familiar with the Ninja Coffee Bar, I'm gonna talk you all through how it works and also give you guys two recipes that we use, me and my husband, um, to make our at-home cold brew. Like your girl loves Starbucks but I also love to spend my money on way better things like clothes and makeup so i like to save some money on coffee when i can and to be honest this coffee is delicious and it tastes just like starbucks um so yeah so if you want to see all about the ninja coffee bar and some recipes for your diy cold brew then just keep watching and also if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because we're gonna have some fun stuff going on here in the next couple weeks um, I've got some really fun content planned. Um, so yeah, so hope you guys enjoy. All right, so as you can see, I have moved positions so you can see the coffee bar in all of its glory. Um, this is what you will get when you order your Ninja coffee bar. It is just a basic coffee maker, um, but it also does a few really cool things like make cold brew coffee. And it also does espresso. So it's like an all-in-one. Like I know there's a couple different ones that are really expensive, but this one I think is worth the money. Um, and it's just good. So I'm gonna talk to y'all about the machine and show you the moving parts and pieces. And yeah, so um, upon arrival, it can be pretty intimidating. Like when I first got mine, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like a whole machine in itself, but it's not that bad. So this is the machine. Basically, you're gonna have your carafe, which holds your normal size coffee. Um, you're gonna have your removable coffee filter. So it's gonna look just like this. At your filter and then this little contraption i don't know exactly what it does but it's there um and then you have your water tank which holds a good bit of water um yeah so that's a good one and then it has a couple different settings okay so i have zoomed in so you guys can see the coffee bar and everything that it has and we're going to talk about some of the settings so it has a couple different ways that you can make your coffee you can do a single cup an extra large cup a travel mug multi-serve so like if you wanted to do enough for like say two travel mugs you can do a half carafe or a full carafe um, it brews classic coffee it brews rich coffee which is how you would do um, just like a very strong brewed coffee your over ice function and also your specially concentrated which is going to be like your espressos so that's going to make a four ounce serving it also has a system where it can stay warm so like if you make coffee hot coffee in the morning and you want this hot plate to stay warm for a certain period of time you can push that button and it will stay hot and then it also has a setting where you can set it to make a pot of coffee for first thing you wake up in the morning so if you set your coffee pot up the night before you put your coffee in make sure you've got your water um, have your craft under it you can set the, the delay brew and you can schedule it to have your pot of coffee ready by seven o'clock in the morning so that is an awesome feature down here it has a um, automatic clean button so it's just gonna filter the hot water through it make sure the system is really clean and then you just have your power button so not a whole lot of buttons um, but it does um, have a spin dial so you can control it and yeah so that's pretty much it for that so I'm gonna walk y'all through um, how we set our coffee bar up for our cold brew coffee also two things that I left out in that first little video showing you all the mechanisms one is the frother so it comes with this little frother on the side that just comes with your machine and this you can use to froth your milk for like cappuccinos or specialty drinks and it also has the scoop for your coffee so this is how you measure how much coffee you need based off how strong you brew your coffee so and it has a little space over here that it just clips right into um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show y'all how we do our just cold brew coffee. Um, so Yeah, hope you guys are ready for this because it's gonna blow your mind how easy this is All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill my carafe up to about here with ice Okay, so our ice maker is not very good So that's how much ice I have and I'm just gonna put that right back in and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and prep your coffee. So we love to use flavored coffee because I am not big on adding a lot of creamer to my coffee. 
So we like specifically the Dunkin' Donuts French vanilla. That is my personal favorite. Um, but right now we're just using the private selection vanilla flavor coffee from Publix, I believe. So, but you can use whatever coffee that you want. So I just am gonna take two scoops of coffee because I'm just doing a single serving of coffee for right now. Put that right into my filter and it's just gonna go straight in there. I don't know if you can see that. Yes, you can see that. And that's it. Then I'm gonna put my coffee back up and stick that down in there and slide that back in. Also this, so you wanna make sure your water tank is pretty full. Um, for the purpose of this video, I said I'm only making a small serving then I don't really need it all the way the full max. Um, but if you were making a full carafe of hot coffee, you would definitely want this all the way up. Otherwise you're not gonna get a full pot of coffee. Um, and sorry I'm cut off, I'm more focused on this and not me. So anyway, so let's get started. So first I'm gonna turn on the coffee bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch that over to travel, which is what size I'm making. So you just spin your dial over to travel. And since I'm doing over ice coffee, I'm gonna hit that button that says over ice. And it's that simple. It's gonna brew and it's a little bit delayed. So if you get this and you're like, why is it not brewing immediately? It takes it a minute. So give it some time. It's gonna brew and once it's done, I'm gonna actually walk y'all through our recipe on how we make our cold brew. All right, so coffee is officially done brewing, um, and I'm gonna just go ahead and walk y'all through how I actually ooh, make the coffee. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just, just gonna grab my travel size mug since we made a travel size pot, um, take that lid off, and then the th two, sometimes three things I'm gonna show y'all that I add to it is just unsweetened almond milk. Um, this is the vanilla flavor because I love the vanilla flavor, but you can just do whatever you can use oat milk, you can use coconut milk, like whatever you wanna use. I just choose to use the unsweetened version because it's less calories, less carbs. So I'm just gonna fill the bottom up about, I would say it's probably gonna be about a fourth of a cup. And then the other thing I do is I'm gonna take flavored syrup. This is optional, you don't have to use this. I just like to add this in for just some extra flavor. Uh, I'm just gonna take a very small amount, super concentrated, and toss that in there. And then that's it. Then you're just gonna take your coffee and just pour your coffee straight into your travel mug. And bam, that simple. I'm gonna grab a spoon to stir it. And I'm also gonna show y'all how I do my protein shake coffee, so. All right, so that's it. Just gonna stir my coffee up and you can kind of see the color of it through the Starbucks mug. It's not light because I don't like a lot of cream in my coffee. Um, it's just a good coffee. Sorry, I know you can't really see my face. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is for my protein coffee, um, which is how, like first thing in the morning, I, instead of eating breakfast, I will just have a protein shake. And here lately I have been mixing my vanilla protein powder into my coffee and it's just been so good. So all you do is you're just gonna take a scoop of whatever protein powder that you like. We love this stuff from, it's called myprotein.com. It is just a really cool website. They have all sorts of protein powders. Um, they have like vegan, gluten-free, all these different things. So, and lots of flavors too, but we like just the vanilla and the chocolate. So really simple. You're just gonna get a scoop of your protein powder, dump that right into your coffee and just stir it up really, really well. Um, since you're not using a blender ball, sometimes this can tend to clump if you don't stir it really, really good. So once you have that stirred up, you're just gonna add ice to your cup. All right, so that's it. That's all you have to do to make your cold brew at home. I will leave the exact recipe below because I know I kind of like talked through that pretty quick. Um, but I hope that explained the Ninja coffee bar enough to where you guys can understand that making your own coffee at home is not that hard and it's actually pretty healthy. Like I think the caloric, like nutritional value of this entire like venti size cup of coffee is like 30 calories, which is so good. And it has like minimal sugar. Like I don't think there's sugar in anything. Maybe, yeah, one gram in the protein powder and uh, no sugar in the almond milk. So, and then this is unsweetened as well. So 
that is it um and you don't have to do the protein powder in your coffee you can literally skip that step and complete and you can just drink regular coffee but i like i said i love to what well, i sneeze <sighs> sorry i had a sneeze um anyways so but like i said you can literally just skip that entire protein if you just want to have like regular coffee but i love to add the protein powder into my coffees because then it's like a breakfast coffee and it's so good um so yeah so that's it for that and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if, like i said if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe because we're gonna do some fun things coming up and yeah hope you all have a great day